Hi, I'm Stuart from SFB Leadworks. So welcome to the next job. Let's go and have a look and see what it's all about. Okay, so I'm still on the same job as my last video. You can see that's the dorm up there that I cladded beforehand and it's got the fascia and the soffit on there now, ready for the flat roof to be done on. But what we've got to do today is a selection of smaller dormers. So we've got one in there. Another one there to do. And another one there. There's also another two around the front there, these, these um, barreled ones, but there's a few issues with the carpentry on those. So I'm going to leave them for the, for the time being until that gets rectified. What we'll do first is just concentrate on these, on these smaller ones. As you can see, I've already put in the apron corners. I've also got the flashings nailed on, covering the sofas as well. Building papers in place. And we've got the copper in place as well. And to get my height, what I did, well, I actually used a longer piece of batten, but just put a piece of batten on the slates just to keep me 25 mil off. Then I could nail my copper tags in place. I've just left them about five mil off the batten for a little bit of movement. So that's all the prep work done. We're just in the process now of making these cheeks. Okay, so just measuring this cheek now. Um, they're just core drilling inside so I'm hoping that you can actually hear me okay what I always do is I always draw it out on a piece of building paper the actual the right way so you know you're gonna knock it up the right way otherwise you could get down to where you're gonna knock this up and think oh which way was it um, <laughs> and it's so easily done to make a mistake so I always draw mine out with all the measurements on there get that stop slipping so what I do is just get a piece of roofing batten lay it on the slates there I just get a tape measure. It's a bit, a bit hard to do with one hand. I know that's going to fall. Um, but I just measure down the front of that jam, from that point there, down to where it meets meets the batten, and then just do that an inch in. In this case, it was 352 mil, and then I measure all the way along the top there, from that point there all the way until it reaches the batten again in that into that corner that's it no focus there just into that corner and in that case it was 430 so we know that's that measurement's an inch in going back to that corner and then i just need to allow an extra 25 mil for the weld that turns that turns down behind that copper so um, now we've got the measurements, let's go down to the bench and knock that up. Right, okay, so just down on the bench now, I'm just gonna knock up this cheek. Right, so I know it's 352 mil an inch in. That's three, five, two inch in. And from the inch, we need to come back 430 mil. Four thirty, so let's join at those two points. Then I'll need to add on another 25 mil for my fold. 25 and 25. Okay, so we can now cut that off. going to do now is I'm actually going to flip this over because then this would do the cheek on the other side as well let's cut 
cut that straight off. And this off cut here I can use and cut for clips for head flashings. Put that to one side. Right, so let's get this one knocked up. oil on that. Just going to dress that to a square now but not too tight. I don't want to make it too difficult for myself. to knock up this 25 mil now. Put some patination oil on that as well. I will oil it again at the end, but I always like to get some on straight away. Right, and that is now ready ready to go in. Right, okay, so let's see what this fits like. I'm gonna be so embarrassed <laughs> if it doesn't fit after all that. You get me uh, You get me on camera, but um, let's have a look, see what it's like. I literally, I haven't tried this yet, so. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad, does it? Well, look at that, that's, that's pretty spot on, you know. Could almost do this for a living, almost. Right, let's get that fixed then. I'm just going to fold this up now with, with my fingers. Right, okay, so that's that in place now. What I will do in a minute is I'll put some copper on this welt here. I'll just I'll notch it out there and just nail it in there to stop that from kicking out. So we get all these, all these cheeks fixed, and then we can move on and looking at the head flashings. Right, okay, so that's all of these cheeks fixed in place now. As you can see, I've just put all the copper on these as well. Just notched it out a little bit there. Just so that when you, when you put the jam on, when you when you fold that round, you don't see the copper shining through. Sometimes you get like a little bit of a lump if you don't, if you don't notch that out. So we've done that as well. Same for this last one round here. So just in the process now of putting all these flashings on, just done these ones already. 
that's all I've done is I've just measured down 125 mil because we're using 150 cover flush in so I've got a 25 mil lip that's being nailed on that top edge so 125 down and I've just measured where the center was and put a clip there and then I've just fixed that flushing in there now nailed it nailed into this top edge and just folded round that bottom edge as well so both of those are done that's nice in there as well so I'm just in the process now of doing the flashings on these two here's one here I haven't oh, the scaffold pole there um, here's one here which I'm just about to fix which I haven't done yet so you can see I've just just turned the 25 mil lip on there just had to cut it out a little bit where, where we've got this timber here I've got another one at the back there as well we can fix it to that to that top edge of that ply that leaves this airflow all open it's going to be vented soffit on here as well so we're going to get these flashings fixed into place then i can do do the jams okay so that's the rest of these head flashings in place now as well So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these jams in. So I'm just going to cut these aprons into there and fold that down into the window opening just so I can get these jams on. Do that on all of those aprons through there. And then we just concentrate getting all these on. Right, okay, so I'm just going to cut this apron in now. Right, okay, so that's all those aprons cut in now. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put some dealing paper on the front of this jam, start getting all those on. Okay, so I'm just in the process now putting this jam on. The first thing I'm going to do is just have a look, just to make sure there's no nails sticking out. In actual fact, there's one there, look. Good job I checked it. Let's get that in. Let's get some building paper on there. Right, so we have one that I made earlier, ready to roll. What I've done is I've pre, pre-formed that edge there. So I'm going to nail it down there. Then I'm going to put it on, fold that 
well round when I adjust that round it'll pull it round it'll pull that that edge round even tighter this round now. A little bit more patination oil down that inside edge. That's where my fingers have been there, it would have wiped some of it off. Let's dress this round now. Okay, and that's that one done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to repeat the process and get the rest of them on. Okay, so that's all those jams done. I've also just given them another coat of oil. So all that's left to do now is just to weld, weld all these internals in. But I'm going to do that on my next visit. So I'm going to wrap things up here. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can check me out on Instagram at SOB Leadworks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hopefully catch you in the next. Cheers.